course, it often seems, doesn't it, that the government kind of like shoving EVs down people's faces because they all want us to get one by 2030, don't they? But of course, I've said many, many times it should be up to the individual if and when we actually want to jump ship and get one. But it kind of appears now that one of the main hurdles that are putting people off and getting one could now be solved. So what am I going on about then? Well, according to this article, it says that a major EV car brand unveils a groundbreaking, it says, oh, this better be really good, new technology that, wait for this, charges a car for 300 miles in just five minutes, which of course sounds great, doesn't it? As my girlfriend even says, a lot can be done in... Five minutes, unfortunately. But anyway, just who are these people and then how is it done? Well, the Chinese electric vehicle maker, BYD, has revealed the charging system which would revolutionise the landscape. And using a new network of ultra-fast charging devices, BYD claimed the tech is capable of adding up to 470 kilometres, which for us normal people is 292 miles, of range from a charging session lasting just five minutes. Which is, of course, as we all know, the raffle of equivalent of filling up a petrol car. It even says that charging speeds are up to a thousand kilowatts or a megawatt, which is twice as fast apparently as Tesla's superchargers, which offer up to 500 kilowatts. And all this sounds brilliant, doesn't it? There is just one problem that they've got to work out. And that is, how are they going to price this? Because from what I've seen so far with EV chargers, the faster that you want them to charge, the more costly is it going to actually be. At home, if you're on one of these EV tariffs like Octopus Intelligent Go, you pay what is about seven pence per kilowatt hour. However, if you've got a grid serve or somewhere like that, the charges are often much higher, sometimes at 70 or even 80 pence per kilowatt hour, over 10 times as much. And that is for nowhere near, as far as I'm aware, of that speed. So if they're going to release this new technology, are we suddenly going to have to start paying £1.50 or even £2 per kilowatt hour, thereby, of course, presumably making it far cheaper to just stick with your petrol and diesel car, no doubt. In tests, it says the new battery maintained high levels of charge and power throughout the charging process, achieving up to 600 kilowatts, even at a 90% state of charge. It is good that the battery allows this, and that is the main thing, apart from, of course, the speed of the charger which needs to put it into the battery, which is what we pay for. And shares in Chinese EV giant have surged since a high record, or record high, sorry, on the back of the announcement in its fresh charging tech. Although BYD has yet to reveal its capacity and the weight, and the company claims it has achieved NC charging multiplier. BD founder, hopefully I won't laugh at his name, Wang, <laughs> sorry, Wang Chana pronounced that right, said it has the potential to fundamentally solve users' charging anxiety. And he added, our pursuit is to make charging time of electric vehicles as short as refueling time of fuel vehicles. And this is bound to be where it's going to go, isn't it? Because no one, let's face it, no one wants to plug in a car and have to wait umpteen hours to just go back and get it, especially if you just pop into the shop for a few minutes. I mean, yes, People often say that, just pop it into Tesco or wherever, do your shop, and when you come back out, you've got a nice full battery. The problem is, often, you know, you're only in there for, what, 20 or 30 minutes? Unless, of course, you're my girlfriend, then there's an hour and a half. But you have to pay for the privilege of that fast charge. And I think once they sort that out and put the charging prices back down to a reasonable amount, which would actually tempt people into getting an EV and alleviate any concerns they've got, with how long it's going to take to charge that battery, or even the range of the battery itself, then I think that is a time when a lot of people will jump ship and get an EV. Oh, and of course, increase the amount of charges available, because quite often we hear on social media, don't we, that if you arrive at a charger, it might, be, might even be taken or broken or whatever, and that is the last thing people want. Tesla apparently have actually got quite a good reputation with chargers, they, from what I've heard, have quite a lot available, and also, they hardly ever go wrong as far as I'm aware. But just how are they going to plan on doing this? Well, it says, to facilitate the introduction of its new battery technology, BYD plans to construct more than 4,000 supercharging stations. Sounds great, doesn't it? There's just one problem. It's across China, so no doubt, of course, we'll have to wait a while for it to come over here. I'm guessing Labour will probably try and bring it over before 2030, when they want us all, as far as I'm aware, that's the date, to get us to buy new petrol diesel cars. Obviously, petrol and diesel will still be about 
for the next maybe 10, 20, even 30 years. But unfortunately, they'll be used. They also need, let's face it, to bring the price down of EVs. I mean, one benefit that I've heard that they do have is let's move parts and things in a petrol or diesel car. I mean, you know, they don't have a clutch, a head gasket, or other things that could go wrong. Although there is at the moment quite a lot of things that are putting people off including the charge and range and how long it takes to charge the car so if they could bring this over then let's face it it's more than likely going to be a game changer for thousands of people out there and this might just might change everything as far as the rate of adoption that people will take up evs which let's face it keir starmer and the labor party and all the ev nuts out there would absolutely love either way though they do need to bring the price down as fast as possible eh